Hello friends, Panatik here and welcome to the Jahan Daruwala project. We are celebrating 75 years of independence here in India and as part of that, as part of my patriotic fervor in response to that, I am going to uh, play a career in F1 manager and I am going to employ Jahan Daruwala as one of the drivers. To which team I am not yet sure, we'll check that out I'll, when I make up my mind uh, in later on in the video. The point is to employ Jahan Daruwala in Formula 1 in one of the teams whichever I choose and then I will try and nurture his career and see how far he can go perhaps a few seasons down the line he can get uh, a podium finish perhaps even win a Grand Prix later down the line so let's see how that works out uh, hopefully it will be an interesting journey and not a frustrating one for me and it will hopefully be an entertaining one for you dear viewers so Let's see how it goes. Right, so which team shall it be? That is the first question that I have to answer. And I don't want it to be an easy task. If we look at the attributes here, I've tried Williams, I've tried to make Nicholas Latifi world champion and I failed miserably at it. I did uh, three seasons and there was not much improvement, although he was improving as a driver. It was a long way to go and the car was, uh, well, really poor to begin with as you can see 10th out of 10 is the williams car so it has to be somebody else haas perhaps that's a good option but i i don't know which of these drivers i will get rid of to get uh, to get jaha into the team and starting balance is low as well so it'll be too much hard work same goes for alfa romeo starting balance is low but the car is very good it is really really very nice i've tried one season and I have gotten um, Bottas to win a couple of Grand Prix and be on the podium for three others. Even Zhoguan Yu has been on the podium in three others when I played one season as Alfa Romeo. So that is actually a bit too good uh, for me. Same goes for the uh, obvious ones where any driver will do well. I don't want to do those three either. Um, McLaren is a good option, but then I would have to get rid of Daniel Ricciardo, which I, I can't. I'm incapable of doing. I really like him a lot as does my wife so i have to be careful there alpine once again very good team so um, i won't have as much fun improving the car and the uh, driver so it has to be one of these two either um, well either alpha tauri or aston martin so which one shall it be starting balance is medium for alpha tauri and is high for Aston Martin. Uh, headquarters quality is also very good. Uh, this one is a bit lower than that. So I guess it's got to be, well, I don't know, car performance 9th out of 10, 6th out of 10 is good. Driver performance 8th out of 10. I'm going to go with uh, Alpha Tauri. Let's, uh, let's go with that. It's a nice old Italian team and uh, the headquarters are in Italy so that will be a nice little fantasy for me <laughs> instead of uh, where are they placed instead of Aston Martin who are placed in Silverstone and I won't have to get rid of Vettel as well we Indians are big fans of Sebastian Vettel he won of course each of the three Indian Grand Prix that have been held so far so can't get rid of Vettel either so it will have to be poor old Yuki Sunoda will have to make way for Jahan Daruwala. So let's get going. Let's see how this works out. Okay. Fanatic. Let's leave this blank. Oh, I'm not allowed to. Okay. First time Panatic, last time Panatic. I don't need the first time guidance on. Let's go. Right, so first task is to employ Jahan Daruwala. Well, no, age, right? Let's do this rather. Where is... Here he is. The same level as Latifi, but uh, three years younger. As per this game, he is at the same level as Latifi. I'm not going to scout him. I don't have 30 days to do that. Uh, where are we in the calendar? We are 11 days from the... Bahrain Grand Prix so I have to get him in right away scouting will have to do with
without it. So let's just try and uh, get him for a few seasons. How much shall I? Not hundred thousand. Let's think. I have no clue how much he earns. Let's give half a million for the year. And a starting bonus, sure. And a race target bonus first. No, not first. Good lord, I should have checked what my drivers have got as their bonus uh, points in the contract. Bonus threshold is 10th. Okay, so let's make it slightly easier for Jahan. I wish we could just edit this in a drop down, but we have to just keep on hitting the plus sign. 10th, 12th, no, 10th is fine. Something to aim at. Let's make it a big bonus. Bigger than this, definitely. Okay, 100,000. 20% of his salary as a bonus, that's a nice number. Starting bonus should be decent as well. 25 should work. All right, JD, let's see if you like this one. Okay, he's not happy with three seasons, but he's okay with the rest. And so he is, I have to pay a million dollars to Yuki Tsunoda to break his contract. Goodbye, Yuki. Good luck. I hope you replace Nicholas Latifi at Williams, for example. That should definitely be available soon enough. Okay, here we go. So now I will get to see Jahan Darwala's attributes. And okay, so uh, in this game, the attributes that decide the pace of the driver are braking, cornering, and reactions. So reactions are decent, comparable to Pierre, Pierre Gasly, which is good. Braking is nowhere good enough. No, cornering is about average. And growth potential is also average. Aggression is low. That is unfortunate. Yeah, he's not going to try ridiculous moves to overtake, which we hope he would. So his strong point is, of course, control 83 and accuracy 82. This is comparable to Pierre Gasly's. Control is also not bad at all. So I have to get him to improve, improve drastically. And in this game, when you want your uh, drivers to improve, you have to provide them those facilities. This race simulator weekly experience gain is 40% right now at the second level out of five. So I'm going to go and hit upgrade right away, no matter what the cost. So I have $23 million left after these two modifications getting rid of Tsunoda's contract to make way for Jahan Darwala and getting uh, the race simulator to up update. A tour center is essential because it is one of the only ways you can make money in this game. You earn money by sponsors and by people visiting fans visiting your tour center so you have to have one let's build that so that will open up an income stream this can wait although it, i would want that as well this is also needed because it increases my sponsor target payout so let's get on with that as well weather center is fine i'll just depend on what the other drivers are doing with respect to the rain, uh, hospitality area can wait for a while, as can the boardroom. What about this? I have got, okay, good, 10 engineers, so I can have two development projects at the same time uh, concurrently, so that is good. Factory is fine. Wind tunnel and CFD simulator, I will need to upgrade these, but these are very expensive. 10 million for the first upgrade. And uh, the upkeep cost all also goes up along with that. So you have to be very careful with these investments. But I will need the, these sooner or later. I'm happy to see this. Brake cooling and engine cooling will be kind of taking care of themselves. Let's take a look at our car. Let's see where it stands on the grid. It's not terrible. Okay. Uh, we 
have plenty of scope for improvement in the cornering dirty air as well as clean air cornering top speed is fine decent acceleration is okay as well average but not terrible i've been playing as williams for a few seasons so this looks great in comparison so obviously i'm going to have to improve on the statistics for which i will uh, have to develop my front wing as you can see these are the attributes that the front wing will uh, deal with so i'm just going to put all my allocations for the uh, mega allocation unit hours and the uh, in the CFD and the wind tunnel hours, all of them in the improvement of my front wing. So this is what it will look like. Let's see if that improves the rank on the grid. Yes, it does. That is a significant improvement in one go. Of course, it will take some time to get there. Uh, low speed, medium speed, high speed, which one would I need? Uh, I guess, I guess, yeah, let's leave this as it is. The first two Grand Prix are, of course, uh, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, not very slow. But uh, the third one is Australia, which requires a lot of downforce. So let's see if I can get this project done before that. I can employ at the most six engineers on one. And 34 days, 10th April. I'm guessing that will be good enough. It will have to do. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's get on with that. Okay. I have four more engineers available. Suspension has been upgraded once, and hence this is S2 over here, and the others are one each uh, UF1, SP1, etc. So, what else can I improve? Which can do without wind tunnel and CFD time and improve the car as well. I guess chassis is the most harmless one. Underfloor is very important. Side pods, rear wing as well. Okay, so let's go for the chassis without adding any of these. It still is a reasonable improvement. Not on the rank per se but it is at least some improvement well hardly any really okay let's try something else then something which will improve despite the lack of yes this is a better option so side pods it is no, underflow rather and let's put all my remaining engineers on that So this is how it begins. I have one very good driver. I'm a big fan of Pierre Gasly and especially in this game, you can see he's a very pacey driver because of his very late braking capabilities. This allows the drivers to brake later when approaching corners to improve lap times without running, etc. Uh, reactions can improve. That is what I'm going to work on with him. Defending is fine, whatever. Overtaking is good. Aggression is average. Would have liked a higher regression, but that's okay. Uh, control and accuracy are pretty decent as well. So Pierre Gasly is the one who is <laughs> going to carry all my uh, hopes for my team. And while Jahan Darwala settles in and improves, I'm going to especially going to target his braking. So every time there's an additional development point available, I'm going to add it to his braking attributes. It's good to see his accuracy and control. That is uh, very important consistency attribute. Smoothness is not that great, so tire wear will be a little bit greater. So I'm going to embrace that by putting him on two stop strategies every time rather than uh, stretching the one stoppers. Let's just embrace it. Control is the attribute that reduces the likelihood of the driver causing lockup spins crashes running wide doing a latifi basically uh, and for accuracy he's always going to place the car you know, 
perfectly on the racing line it reduces the uh, chance of the driver running wide at high speed but this is very important this attribute braking and that is what i'm going to work on the first uh, so anyway this is a good beginning i hope and let's see where it takes us hope you join me for the rest of the videos see you again soon bye bye